Hello again, busy dads and busy people everywhere. I just wanted to drop in, um, just to hold myself accountable, to check in with you guys, let you know how my training has been this week, and share just one or two thoughts that have occurred to me over the course of the week um, about ways to stay focused on your training if you're dealing with an injury as I am right now. The hand is still bad. Um, it's not possible for me to put weight on it right now. I'm going to be going back to the doctor next week to get a more updated sense of what the wait time is going to be like for recovery. Um, but burpees are still quite a long way off for me. I miss them intensely. I think I'll be recording a video soon enough about what it is that I miss about them, why I think they're so valuable. Um, but I'm still having a really good time and I just wanted to thank all of you for your encouragement, support and to check in again. So this week I've completed my 80 minutes and um, I've been just sticking with the sprint training. Um, on the first day of the week, I was doing longer runs. The second day of training, another 20 minute session. Um, my method was to, after a bit of warming up time, which was factored into the 20 minutes, um, to attempt 10 reps where I'm sprinting for 20 seconds um, and then resting for 40 seconds. I was able to complete those 10 reps, but not consecutively. I, I needed to do um, five and then take two minutes off just on a light run and then another five. Um, and the way I did that was to go pretty hard, about 95% hard on the first rep, bank that distance and try and hold that distance within the 20 second time period for the whole of the workout, really focusing on good quality reps. Um, and because of that emphasis on quality, I, I knew after, after rep five that I needed to take uh, an extra two minutes of rest. So I did, I was able to get that work out. This morning, I put in a 40 minute session to complete the week where I was doing longer runs. And the strategy was, again, I factored in some warming up time. And then I was at a local um, football pitch, not a full size football pitch, I'm not sure how big it was. But the first rep, I just ran around the whole pitch. I timed myself. I was running at about 90%. Um, it was, you know, fast but comfortable for that first rep. And it took me one minute. And what I tried to do was to hold the one minute pace for 10 reps around that pitch. And I did, but I needed two minute recoveries between those reps because by about rep three, I was really doing deals with the devil just to finish those reps. Um, I'm learning a lot. I'm really, really enjoying this kind of training. As I commented on Monday or Tuesday, I'm still training to train here. I'm not able yet to push myself as hard um, as I'm able to push myself in burpees. I can feel my form slipping as I, as I continue the sprints. Um, and I haven't yet developed either the neuromuscular coordination, the familiarity with the movement, or the kind of psychological familiarity with the movement to be able to push through fatigue in the way that I can with burpees. That's coming. I'm really, really excited about this kind of training. Um, I can't wait to get back to my burpee training practice, but I'm really, really valuing the new, the new challenges, the new opportunities to stretch myself that this training is giving me. It's been, um, it's been really, really exciting. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm dieting. I'm on a 2200 calorie daily allowance, which I'm, um, I had Monday Halloween off, but I'm back, back on, have been for the whole of the week. Um, in fact, yesterday I was at more like two, 2000 calories and I'm really using that as a way of staying focused between now and when I return to my burpee training practice. I said to myself early on, what can I do to stop myself from drifting? And one of the answers to that question was, okay, work backwards from the day that you want to get back to your Navy SEALs and your six counts. Okay, um, who do you want to be on that day? And I decided, I picked up some weight after the mass building program, that I wanted to be the most lean and lithe uh, that I've ever been as a burpee practitioner. So I wanted to lean out a little bit. Okay, so usually my, my weight fluctuates between about 165 pounds at the lower end and about 173, 174 pounds at the higher end. I was right on the higher end of that when I got this injury. 
As of this morning, I'm 166 flat. I'm heading in a downward direction. And I'm gonna go into uncharted territory, I think, from next week. My aim is to see how close I can get to 160 flat before I return to my burpee training practice. Um, I'm really, really enjoying, actually, the, the, the energy that I'm getting from uh, fasting a little bit longer each day and just being a little bit hungry. It's kind of a nice feeling. It's a strange feeling, but it's kind of nice. Um, and one thing I'll say is, if you are injured, I really strongly recommend dieting because it, it completely transforms your perspective of the time between, of the time you have left injured. Right, so right now my aim is to get to 160 pounds before this injury clears up. So I'm like racing against my injury. And part of me therefore doesn't want the injury to go away. Rather than hating the injury, the injury is my opportunity to diet and to do my sprint training. Okay, and so part of me doesn't want this hand to get better because I want to keep dieting. I want to keep pr progressing towards my goal of 160. I want to keep developing my sprint training practice so all of a sudden I'm converting this injury into an opportunity rather than uh, something that has a purely negative uh, significance. So if you are injured, strongly recommend going on a diet. That's all for, for me this week, my friends. Uh, I hope there was some, some little relic of wisdom you could find in that message. But just to say the busy dad is feeling good, feeling excited about training, about life. And I'm always very grateful to all of you for your support. I'm sorry I've not been checking in with the community more this week. I will do from over the next couple of weeks. Um, I miss all of you guys. Thinking of you all. I hope you all have excellent training weekends and I'll see you all next week.